Hello and welcome back. It is CEX versus Nexus for this final map. And uh, well, it was a it was a brutal affair on Dust Two. Let's be honest, sixteen three for Nexus. They smacked CEX out of the park, and now we'll see if CEX can have anything left in their tanks here for this final map of Inferno. As we see CEX actually start out on the CT side, they uh, get that luxury. While Nexus will be on the T side, they'll be attacking, and they've got quite a lot of utility for this first round. A couple smokes, a few flashbangs, a, a, a Molotov, plenty to work with. Well, CX, yeah, they have a kit for Cypher, a smoke for him as well. Shame he doesn't have a camera or any tripwires to use as they push in towards this B site. MT will be the one who needs to hold. And he's just going to back away he's solo towards B. Just going to try and play for that 5 on 5 retake. That's a bomb that does get planted. The timer starts to tick its way down and with Cypher having that kit. That gives them an extra five seconds to work with as they're going to try aggressing through the ruins position. The opening kill goes towards the CT way, but Zello and Cement, they destroy everyone who's trying to push forwards. And Nexus, a pretty nice round there. They destroy any sort of hopes of a retake there. A lot of quick kills coming through on those Glocks, and it is Nexus who pick up the pistol round. Now, a nice buy for the Nexus side. AK 47s, a couple Mac 10s. Always nice to see, and we'll see if this CEX stack towards top mid will find anything. If anyone decides to peek their head in there, they may get it taken off. But for now, Nexus they're heading over towards that B site yet again. This time, there's two players to defend, but MT dispatched of quickly leaves the Dyphon. Who peeks out wide with a CZ, does get one, but caught out by the second player. And now, as S. Zachary is just mowing them down in towards mid. That Max and finding kill after kill. And it's eventually Zello who does find that final. So Nexus, they close out as clean as second round, just dropping one player. A nice set of rounds for them. And now we'll have to deal with CX on a bit of an awkward buy here. A couple of Mac 10s. Sorry, not a couple of Mac 10s. A couple of MP9s, a couple of Famases, and an M4. It's not really what you'd be hoping to come into the first gun round with, but we'll see if they can make it work, because Nexus, they have themselves the, uh, the rifles, the single Mac 10 for them. But, uh, MT has just been uh, burned alive. That is never fun. Burned alive over by the sandbag to smoke. Dropped late, and now it's all up towards Eifen to try and hold down this B site. His rotations come over, but they're not going to be here in time. BTN already has secured the site and secured the kill on towards Eifen through the smoke. He plucks his head clean from the server, and that is now CX going to have to save. But look at Saxi on the Mac 10. He's looking for these saving plays, and the Mac 10 wins out on that fight against the M4. That's outrageous. Cypher eventually. Trying to kill for the CX side, but it's going to be too little too late as now they know their position. They're going to try and save over in the pit. These Nexus players going aggressive to try and take him down. And there's one. Dink on towards PTN, but the kill from the AK is there. And now Cypher has no way of staying alive. Too many players around him, and it will be Zello. Man, to find that final kill CX. The first gun round does not work out well for them. Five AKs up against five pistols, four of them deagles, a single five at seven. That's a good one for one. MT has been very nice on the deagles so far this game, this entire series. But uh, I don't think CX will be able to close out this round as this Nexus side starting to pull these kills back in their favour. Just pistols still remaining for the CT side. It's Weapon shuffled away as well. BTN hides that weapon from the grasp of those CEX players. If they push down Banana, they will not be able to collect it. Nexus, they aren't going full con or full aggression towards one of these sites yet. They're just taking the time, making sure they clear these angles out. Don't want to get caught by any of these pistols as they 
start to take control of top mid and the apartments as they set up themselves to move into that 8th bomb site, which only MT is defending right now from that pit position. They work their way out towards Longley, clearing the arch in the library. As a smoke gets dropped in towards the library, that might pull a rotation from CX, but for now they're holding fast over towards the B site, and maybe they should have started moving over because BTN has dealt with MT over in that pit position. I'm assuming CX probably going to go for this one nonetheless, even though it is a two on three, just pistols in their hands, no armor, nothing really to lose going into the next round. It will be the full buy for them. Nothing here they'd really want to keep hold of, but there's a nice kill. Took a few attempts on the deal, but he got it in the end. And now an AK picked up for Fluffs. Let's get the kill onto a Saxian. Now it's only IM, a one versus two, but over by the grave, he has a chance to seal out this round from that position. If they clear his position out, it could be horrible though, but he gets the first kill, deals with Fluffs, who's not looking his way, and gets a second as well. Able to shoot him through the edge of the wall, and that will be Nexus on the fourth. IM closes down the 1v2, got a little bit close there, but uh, CX will bring the AWP into this next round, as will Nexus. to see how the AWP has fluctuated between both MT and Cypher's hands during this game. MT the main AWP so far, but uh, Cypher's picked it up on occasion. We'll see MT with it this time yet again. Cypher's going to be wielding an M4 and he wields it well, getting himself that kill on towards IM. On the flower beds he is a... Uh, A bit of an awkward position for Nexus to clear. A lot of damage done towards Nexus as well. BTN and Cement down to about 60 and 40 HP each. So they are not feeling too well. They may be needing a trip to the hospital soon. As they start to stack up towards the banana position to try that B site. They found early success with it. And they replicate that here as Iphone's going to be playing anti flash up on the boost while Fluffs. He'll be over by the coffins. He's down on half HP. We'll probably just take an early shot and maybe just back away as the smoke's pouring. Maybe just try and divert attention to his location so that Iphon can get a kill here. But no, it's just going to be Iphon getting a straight shot either way. As they try and go aggressive, it's brought things now into a 5 on 3. But over towards that B bomb site, it will be the bomb going down. CX and they know that they can just retake this 5 on 3. They don't need to challenge for the kills, but down towards the bottom of mid Cypher. Nailed by Zello's AWP, and now Zello turns his attention towards the coffin, but swings back just in time for impact. Suspects there may be a second player coming his way, and now CEX, they've lost the two-player advantage. Iphone eventually finds one, but Zello, again on the AWP, another kill comes through. This AWP is finding kill after kill. It's only two players remaining, only one player remaining for CEX, and it's all up to Fluffs. Half HP gets the first Zello in front of the smoke as well, but he gets the shot, and that is four for him on the AWP. Excellent work from the Nexus AWP there. To give them a fifth on the board. A three on five that they managed to hold down on that B site. And Zello, that is scary now. He's 11 and 2. CEX, how do you shut him down if he's playing that well on the T side of Inferno with the AWP? That is a scary thought. And Nexus, or rather CEX, I probably want to get that out of their head as soon as possible. CX and the kills coming through for Nexus. It should be a done deal round. Zello even killing one with a deagle. All that remains is a low HP MT and Fluffs who uh, maybe find a kill here. Cement maybe gives himself up to the deagle. Never mind. Fluffs can't hit the shot and now MT, I mean, maybe a kill goes his way here. <laughs> maybe he gets one. We'll get none. Taken down by BTN. As we get into the next round, CX actually is going to be a pause. So a short moment here just to reflect on things as CX, they have themselves a 5 and 4 in. Not going for that AWP. They could have gone for the AWP though.
Luffs and Ifan both having enough to purchase one with armor. Could have dropped it over towards MT. But they just run with the five rifles for now. Electing to get the better utility through. As the pause come to an end, Zello will continue to wield that AWP and wield it well with four AKs for support. There's nothing to be faulted about this Nexus by. So it's going to be up to CX to try and force themselves into a position for a first round of this map. As they. This is a cider. Winner will be playing through the relegation stages. Playing against men's the next game for the winner. Loser, I think, is eliminated. No lower bracket at this point as the kills come through free for free in terms of players alive for both of these teams. Not for long as I am. He does give himself and his team that advantage. MT to fall. And Zello going to keep on hitting shots here. One more for his tally. Forces Fluffs to back away. And CEX will have to wait a little bit longer for their first round. It's going to be seven on the board for Nexus and reminiscent of Dust 2. DX may be having a bit of a few flashbacks here. <laughs> the uh, feeling of hopelessness, I guess. For them, but uh, Nexus certainly want to take this win over CX and get their spot in the quarterfinal for the upper bracket against men's loser. Unfortunately, from this will be eliminated, and it's only the quarterfinals and onwards that will have a lower bracket for losers. I think if you're eliminated in the first round, in the opening round, you are out completely. Maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Maybe I am lying. I think I'm lying, actually. I think, yeah, the losers do go into the lower bracket. My bad. My bad. I just I just relooked at the uh, bracket again, and yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure who they'll be playing against yet, though. But uh, that'll be interesting. And we will also be covering that next game afterwards. So plenty of games a day for CX. Two best of threes, nonetheless. And now. Next aside, pushing towards his A site. They've brought themselves into a three on four. It's still an advantage for CX, but not for much longer as BTN a kill towards top mid. It was just a saved rifle for CX at the start of this round. And now, there's a chance here for them to actually pick up a round. That's a shimmy, you know, weapons around and all picked up for MT. Do they just save that or do they try and go for this three on three retake? Looks like they're going to try and go for it. A couple players coming in from short position. I am again over towards that grave. Does he get checked for? He can certainly play bait with his teammates. As soon as one of his teammates takes aggro, he's going to peek out wide, but actually BTN and I am. They're just going to knock down all the kills. It's Nexus another round on the board. Eight for them. The retake not going to work out for CEX, and it's still a big fat zero next to the CEX name, and I mean, it looked promising after overpass. It picked up the first map 16 to 12, but it's been Nexus ever since. Who have been just running rampant. Five M4s though. For the CX side, it's another full buy for them. Nexus, they're just given a lot of space to work with here, but Cypher, can he find the opening kill? Yes, he can. That's a change. That's CX with the opening, and with Nexus trying to push in towards Banana, it's Cypher who's close range. He might be able to catch them throwing nades, but instead, Cement is able to get himself readjusted for the fight and takes him down, giving to the Nexus side that 4 and 4 fluffs, though, still in the sight. Over by the second, Orange is trying to. Hold his ground, but the noise he's made might give himself up. Oh, able to find one. I don't know how we got the headshot on towards Nexus. I am then, but Semit does trade him down. Zello going to be holding the flank yet again with that orb. Uh, a 
prominent position he's been playing on these retakes or these copant situations where Alvarez MC tries to find the shots, does a bit of damage towards BTM, but it's the kill onto Samen that's going to be the one that makes a difference here, gives him that two on two, and with BTM low, no bomb planted, 30 seconds on the clock, there's still a chance for CX here to pick up a first round. BTN trying to bait them out, and Zello going aggressive, has been able to find MT, leaves Cypher one on two, but he's found BTN, 20 seconds on the clock, leaves him that one on one, and now Zello on the pistol, can he finish this off? Trying to decide whether to use the AWP or the M4, or the AWP or the pistol, and it will be the M4 of Cypher that wins it out, finally putting CX on the board, but it's a close round nonetheless, and just one player surviving. CX are not going to have much money for this next round. As you can see, a couple MP9s come through. The saved AWP and M4. It's really not all that much. And they really need to start chipping away at this Nexus economy. They've got another bite in the tank if they lose this one. CX, a few MP9s on the roster. Can these find the kills needed to secure CX a second as Zello takes the peek in towards top mid? Gonna be playing anti flash for impact, but as he's the push forward, Cypher's able to get himself a double, make it a triple, trying to keep himself alive over by the quad position. Will not be able to. It goes into a two on two, but the bait setup works out well for Cypher, but both Impact and MT can't find anything. Impact was playing anti flash, and they just peeked straight in towards his position, and he had no chance of finding the kills there, but MT can't find anything with the AWP either, and maybe should have been able to find at least one. As they try and push back in towards this A site. Eifert takes a lot of damage over in the apartments and will get taken down as his teammate fluffs long range on the MP9. That's always going to be favoring the AK off Cement there. And CX, they can't find consecutive rounds. Similar story to Dust 2. It's all coming up Nexus at the moment. Just pistols once more for CX. Same it with the opening. Hyphen's at least able to trade it out. Takes a bit of damage for his effort, but it's still at least a 4 and 4. A bit of damage done for the CX side. See if they can find anything else. A nice dink from Hyphen. Or BTN. That AK is capable of securing the kill. Challenge there from CEX though. <laughs> They're gonna find even more actually. These Deagles have swung things in the CEX favor, but no weapons picked up. No fun. That is fun though. MT has just nailed high M as he deplo smoke deploys. He's brought it into just Zello in a 1 versus 3. Zello having to switch off the AWP into an AK 47 to try and 1v3 this for his team against the pistol CEX. This would be a huge round to win if they can pick it up. Impact set himself up the flashbang for his retaken now as they push forward. They're not going to clear out Dark MT though. Oh god, MT. How has Zello not found the kill around the back of the pillar? I think it blocked the vision for just a long, a long enough time for MT to be able to swing himself around and find that kill. But CX, three players surviving and a pistol round victory. That is definitely a little bit of a, a little bit of something, something for the CX side. They can find a few more rounds here. They can definitely go into that second half with a chance and opportunity. But Nexus already at nine makes things difficult. They need to win all the rest of these rounds out, all four of the next rounds out, and that will still only be them at six. It will still be a three-round deficit for halftime. So CX have got their work cut out. But first, can they close out this gun round? Nexus, they still have enough economy for this full buy. No AWP for them, though. As they just settle for the five AK-47s. MT will have that safe AWP. As they push forward, Cypher's been able to net himself a double spray down as to try and go through the apartment, but there's no entry. 
from that position. The balcony's closed. It's closed for maintenance as... Moving on towards Zello and BTN do a lot of damage, but it's Zello still with that AK-47 that's able to find frags and damage done in return to the CX side with Cypher down to 8 points of health. Fluffs on just 30. There's still a chance for Nexus here, but it's slim. As they back away from the A site, they've decided against... Trying to force their entry in towards this A site. They're going to instead try that B site instead, but MT posted up still with the AWP. Oh, he's a smoke with 30 seconds on the clock. That is nice. That will hold back Nexus for just a little bit longer, and they can't go back towards the A site now. They're committed to B. With just under 30 seconds left, they're going to try to push through the smoke for flashbang. It works out for the kill on towards MT. The orb has to back away. And now Iceban, next up in line, gets the first. Can he get any more? Yes, he can. A second. But quick switch is off the AK as Cement push, pushes him. Leaves Cypher and Fluffs. A combined 36 points of health here against Cement. But it doesn't matter if the flashbang peak Cypher is able to secure the kill. And that will be a third now for CX. But boy, are they making it difficult for themselves here. That was not an easy round whatsoever. Fluffs picks up an AWP and AK for Cypher. And that will be another round for CX, but three on the board. They've totaled what they found on Dust 2. Can they better it? I'll be hoping they can total what they found on Overpass, probably, where they found 16. But for now, that's another 13 rounds away. We have to focus round by round at the moment. Let's hope they have a monumental T side, I guess. This is the last buy for Nexus. E rifles. Three of them AKs, one Galil, and a Deagle only for BTN. What's that Korean pop group? Is it BTS? BTS Stan? Well, I'm in a BTN Stan right now as CX find an opening kill dealing with IM. Nexus. Looks like they're going to regroup towards that banana position. Try. And aggressing towards that B site. It has been the weaker site generally for CEX so far. MT has been struggling in this position. Not been able to find many kills with the AWP. We'll see if he can reverse that here now as they start to make their approach. The Molotov not going to be touching him. And he misses the opening shot. Has to deploy a smoke to give him a bit of cover. And the nade comes in towards the position as well. Puts him down to low HP. His teammate falls. And MT can't find anything once again. The B site will crumble. And CX now have their work to do here. Three on four. And they're going to save. They don't want, want anything to do with a three on four retake of B. And that will be Nexus up to double digits. And that is no fun for the CX side. They'll carry these rifles through to the next round. But Nexus survived. They keep themselves off of the eco round. And a little bit of cash as well. The $800 for the bomb plants as well as four players surviving. Will be a nice healthy investment to get them through the rest of this half. And CX will be able to buy up around these safe weapons. Cypher can drop an AWP over to MT, but... I mean, he could buy a up on himself MT, so Cypher can drop an M4 if preferred. As, uh... MT has been struggling this game. 4 and 12. Not found much towards that B site. Just needs one good round, though, to try and give him a bit of confidence. I mean, impacts and fluffs as well. They're not really providing much for this game. Cypher's the one carrying a lot of the weight for CX right now. 15 to 9. He's been playing great. But, uh, certainly more that can be done. Not by him, by the rest of the team. <laughs> we get ourselves back into the game. Two more rounds in this half. Can CEX bring themselves to a five-round deficit? Or will Nexus streak to another huge lead? For the half time, I mean, 10 5 still going to be a pretty big lead for CX to try and overcome, but it's less outrageous than the 10 of 12 3. Let's be honest. 
much prefer to have a 5 round deficit than a 9 round deficit as Cypher gets an opening, MT aggressive down towards mid, picks up 2 as well, and that is CEX now taking finally some aggression in the early stages of the round, it gives them a nice advantage instead of the passive play that they've been plagued with for the rest of this half, but is it too late from the CEX side as now they sit 3 on 2? MT needs to be careful though. Got himself two kills in the round. That is a nice little confidence boost around. Finding those frags is just a nice little a boost to your self-esteem. Gives you a bit of confidence going forward. That might be enough to help turn the round or to turn the rounds in their favour as Nello takes a lot of damage. The teammate falls and I fan secures both of those kills. So CEX do find themselves a fourth. Doubled what they found in the first half of Overpass. Not overpass of in of uh, dust two, but it's uh, still a six round deficit. One more round to decide the overall deficit. Let's call it for the halftime switch. A couple of Galils, a couple of AKs, and a Mac ten for next as well. CX have everything they need. An empty position towards that. Actually, it's not MT position towards the B site. It's Cipher position towards the B site with the up this time. MT is going to be wielding an M four on the A site instead. I fan will still be over on that B site, providing support to Cypher. Is MT just going to run with the M4 for a while? See this AWP though for Cypher as they start to approach this B site. Can he pick up an opening kill? The nays fly overhead, but Cypher's still able to pick up the kill. Cement going down, and now BTN gets the trade. But still, a 4 on 4. Still possible for CX here. That Molotov on towards the bomb position. Might do a little bit of damage, but no, it lands in the smoke. And the bomb can go down. A 4 on 4 ensues. Iron takes a lot of damage on the cross. Down to 7 points of health. Egos would have been absolutely lovely for CX to find that kill. But for now, it's a 4 and 4, and that nade, though, might be enough to take down IM. Yes, it is. Impact gets the kill, and that is exactly what CX needed. Molotov as well on towards BTN forces him off the top of that boost position. As now, he's still able to find Eichmann close range with an AK as they try and push forward. MT is taken down. It's covered by his teammates, and Nexus, they close it down 11 to 4. We will be the halftime score, and a 7-round deficit that CX are going to need to overcome in the second half as we wait for it to go live. It is going to be a huge deficit. And uh, we'll see if Nexus can overcome it. Oh, sorry, if CX can overcome it as Nexus. They held this sort of lead in the first half of Dust 2, and then they sort of just closed things down from there. I mean, they allowed CX one round, a cheeky round. But um, they quickly shut it down afterwards and secured the 16 to 3. CX at least have gone one better than the 16 to 3. Took down the opening map of Overpass, which was their map pick, but I've, since then it's just been Nexus all over it. And I expect Nexus are probably going to be able to close down this game as well. Only five rounds needed. CX needs to mount seven on a comeback here. I mean, there's been bigger comebacks, I guess. But uh, whether or not we'll see one here is going to be a entirely different question. Can they? Yes. Will they? Who knows? Is basically the summary of that. And now... Well, that sounded weird. And now... <laughs> Into the second half. Nexus on the CT side on the defense. He'll have Cement on a kit. A couple of flashbangs for him. Along with IM on a, on a bit of utility as well. Whereas CX, they just go for the five sets of Kevlar. Can they find the kills here? Is the question, Nexus. They've got the kit, so you have themselves an extra five seconds for the retake if needed. But uh, I am. Just spots out a couple of players over in the apartment. Doesn't want to overextend that. Doesn't want to give up the advantage. As he has a HE nade as well, he could use down into the lower ends of the apartments. And he's actually going to deploy it, but a little bit too close. Not going to connect onto anybody as they are a little bit further back. As over towards B, Cypher. 
Go for the peak, just as a couple of people are going to be pushing him, and Zello gets the instant trade, 4 and 4 though, and a dink down onto IM means he is very low on HP, he's just going to have to back away from that apartment position, can't hold them back any longer, and Nagman will be able to collect that double BTN on the site, goes only for one. A CX might be able to pick up the pistol round here and find themselves onto a fifth as impact on the salvaged USP. Now it's one, but Zello still in the server, looking a hot 20 kills already for him, 8 deaths as he's looking for 2 more. Impact and MT to find a flashbang over towards a pit just to give him at least to try and try and give him a bit of space He does blind up impact, but Zello actually doesn't keep forward with it instead MT from the site will pick him off and it will be CX onto a fifth to close up the scoreline a little bit It's just six rounds now between these two teams And if CX can mount a couple of rounds here, they do have Nexus force bindings this one so Beat down this by, that's CX on 6th, probably 7th there against the anti-eco afterwards. And uh, then it starts to get a little bit closer, it starts to get a little bit more interesting as a game. Jesus, okay. I mean, it would start to get a little bit more interesting, but Saxi has just absolutely nailed the head. Of impact there. He has played no further part in this round. The Eagle has secured the opening kill, and CX want no further part of that B bomb site, of that banana position. Instead, they will turn their attention towards the A site as they try now to secure top mid control. Nice shot from BTN there as well. So let's finish off the low HP of Fluffs. As now with three players trying to push towards this A site. Cypher with one, but up on the site, BTN can't find anything apart from a little bit of damage onto those CX players. So they brought it into that three on three, and they're giving themselves the post plant situation where they should be able to close things down with these two AKs and the Mac 10. The next, see if they can hit some incredible shots here. Zello with one, clearing out the site, and Cypher falling afterwards. Lee's just MT, and he can only find two. This Nexus side forced, by the way, in towards victory, and it will be 12 on the board for them, extending things back out to a 12 round, or 12 to se 12 to 5, 7 round lead. As uh, I get a little bit tangled over my words there, but uh, I knew what I mean. <laughs> and uh, CX, disappointing. No, I had so many hopes for that force by. I thought, all right, 3v3, bomb planted, AKs and an Mac-10, they've got it locked down. But Nexus, they just run into the site and get the frags. And that has been the story of Nexus so far. They've just been sort of out-aiming CX at a lot of these points. And the sort of ruthless aggression has been what's won them a lot of the rounds, especially on Dust 2. Just four Deagles, a UMP for CX as they've invested themselves into this one. But the opening kill will go the way as well as a lot of damage on towards BTN as well towards that A site. Means that this B site is going to be very exposed with only one player. But Iceland does get taken down and through the smoke. Cement with the kill on towards Fluff's leaves. Just a free on free. But I am has a chance to get the bomb. There, he's got the kill. MT goes down and trying to transition over with the bomb. And now, this is very difficult for CEX. A two on three, the bomb down towards the bottom banana. And CEX gonna need to scramble for this one. It's only Cypher who's gone back. Impact gonna try and keep hold of that site as Cypher now trying to find the shot on towards IM, trying to pick up the bomb. We'll get it and get away, but only just tries to dart back. He knows. He's going to be close by as Cypher takes the fight, finds one on towards Cements as he tries to take the fight and Cypher a second kill as well. He's managed to salvage an M4 and a 1v1 against BTN, 7 points of health only for BTN. This is certainly possible for CX and Cypher might just be able to dig his team out of a big hole here. But still that AK, one shot is all that needs and it gets a chance, of two chances in fact, to find the kill on towards Cypher. And it will get the third opportunity and secure it, BTN. Ensures that Nexus don't lose a three on one there against Cypher. And they do secure a 13th. Seven points of health. All that was needed for PTM there. And uh, CX, an, an admirable attempt. Losing the bomb up on bottom of Banana there certainly didn't help them out whatsoever. But uh, Cypher did well to find a couple of kills there. Now, Nexus 
Getting themselves four rifles through alongside the MP9 for Saxi and BX. They've got five rifles. The Cypher gets an opening pick. Takes a lot of damage though from the Molotov. So he is down to just half HP. But still, getting that opening kill without a trade is definitely worth the damage. Ask any team. What, uh, if they'd like a an opening kill, if one of your players being dropped to half HP, I, I reckon 95% of teams would take that. If not 100%. <laughs> it just forces Nexus to play such a more spread defense. You see just one player towards the B side, and that's his Saxy with the MP9. The rest of the players who were all stacked over towards A have the rifles. So there's definitely a chance for Nexus still in this one. Four, well, three players on the defense here. Need to fight against five. And Zello had a chance there. He shot. He might be able to find a couple kills against those players who lined up for him. Instead, he takes a flashbang peek off of his teammates. Flash only good for one. Cypher quickly trades out, but BTN over in the pit. Stance Nation as he finds one kill. Cement with another one. And it leaves it all up towards Iphon, and Nexus has been able to turn this on its head. These rifles work out beautifully towards the A site, but Iphon gets the first kill. Now just Saxia 1 versus 1 against this AK-4 Iphon, and Saxia's actually upgraded himself to the AK as well. No MP9 anymore for him as Iphon peeks out. He gets a spray. It's awkward for both sides of the equation. But it is Saxia who finds Nexus a 14th, and CEX now 9 rounds behind. This is looking desperate. CX, another four spy for them. A couple of gleals. MP5 for fluffs. Don't really see that often. As well as a couple of tech nines, but there's still a hope for the CX side. I mean, a slim one, but with only a few rifles for Nexus and a couple MP9s, it's not at all a foregone conclusion as for some reason Faxi goes really aggressive into a Molotov and gets taken down by Iphon. So, good news for CX on that front. They've got the opening kill, but not for long as I am able to catch Cypher off guard over in the apartments, giving the CX side a bit of a headache here. But as he pushes towards B, Zell is going to deploy smoke, but he's going to get caught out by Iphon nonetheless, giving still an even bigger chance for CX. But they've lost opportunities like this before, and Semin's over towards Ruins when they're sure that they can't go too aggressive. See if Nexus even try and go for the retake here. Semic is pushing through the smoke. Gets one. Quickly traded out by the MP5 of Fluff Slope. A bomb is planted. And now, I believe, Nexus is just going to save these two rifles. So it will be CX, another round on the board, another last last gasp of air for them here. As they keep themselves alive, upgrade the MP5 as well to an M4. As they will find a sixth on the board and an eight round deficit. Next is certainly in the driving seat still for this game. So safe weapons for Nexus do help complement this buy. Let's go for the force buy yet again. And they just want to keep trying to take this 15th round here and now. Because it's a couple MP9s, a CZ, a couple rifles. And up down the bottom of mid, Saxy takes the peak. Does get taken down, but it's causing enough mayhem towards the top of mid for IM to find two. And BTN now peeking out the boiler. And this force buy may just work out indeed for the Nexus side. It's just impact. A one versus three. Five kills to his name. Needs to try and... Find three more as they push forward. He might be able to get any, but no. BTN swings out wide. And he takes him down with the M4. And it will be Nexus onto a 15th round. Match point for the Romanians. And we'll see CEX in a bit of a difficult situation. They've got enough for a few rifles here. Fluff has to relegate himself to a Mac 10 though. But other than that, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty decent buy. A Galil Thrifant. Bit of missing utility impact. There we go. Does buy up. 
Gets the AK. See, see, yeah, can find something off of this. Is now it needs to be nine rounds in a row to try and force over time as Semit takes an aggressive peek in towards mid, but it's gonna go one for one. Instead, it's the kills towards top mid that matter, and it all goes even. Stevens, neither team able to pull themselves an advantage. It's Impact versus an iPhone versus Zello and Saxy. Smoke towards Moto gives them a bit of time here just to prepare themselves as Zello tries to push through it. He gives himself up towards Iphone and now it's just Zaxi and one versus two. He's going to try going for it still. Not made any noise. I don't know where it's going to be playing from but with the smoke drop towards the pit. Where's the reveal's location? Iphone straight out from this site to get that kill. A straight headshot. Seven on the board for CX. Keeping themselves in this one. That's Nexus. Left on just four pistols, a scout, a Zeus for IM. Let's see if it can find any kills. Always love to see a Zeus. We are uh, right on board with I am, as the uh, cool kids say. Zeus cam. This is this is what we all really want to see. A Zeus kill. I am just uh, avoiding the spray. Just have a play around the corner, but if he peeks out wide, he's going to be too far away with that Zeus. You got to know your ranges with the Zeus. He knows that there's a good chance that he's not going to be close enough. As Wolf finds an opening kill towards the play behind I am. Zeus Cam is getting a little bit boring now. Nobody's going to be peeking him and... We'll see. CX hope to find an 8th. I mean, they should be finding an 8th here, especially with the man advantage against these pistols and the single scout for Zello. Nexus have saved enough money for the full buy in the next round, so there's not going to be... ...much chance for CX to get too far away. As a... MT just clearing out that B bomb site. Finds two nice little kills, as I say. Confidence boosting kills, and it's all up towards I am now. That Zeus, can it find a kill? Yes! He gets it, and that'll be all he gets. As Impact takes him down in return, and CX, they do find an eighth. But the Zeus kill, that's what we all came to see. That's all we really cared about. <laughs> that's next. It's actually going to take another half buy here. Not enough cash to go for the full buy. They decide, you know what? Will allow CX to get themselves a ninth. We'll just go for a, for a half by again. The scout for Semin to four Deagles. No Zeus this time though, which is upsetting because the Zeus was the only thing that found a kill last round. Why are you giving up the Zeus? Why are you giving up the Zeus? And, uh, let's just give up the frags towards Banana. Two quick kills for Ripen. Should just seal out this round and there's a nade onto Semin as well. Nice from Cypher. Semit jumped back across from mid in towards an end. It was fine if he kept running towards long, but uh, hindsight is a wonderful thing. I see X decide, you know what, the B site isn't for them. They're going to head over towards A, and I am over in the cubby position. That's a nice opening shot to give his team a little bit of something in this round, but a quick trade leaves just sexy. A one versus four, Deagle in hand, and from behind it will be MT. Nine on the board for CX now. Six more in a row needed to try and force overtime. I mean, it's a big ask. I mean, they found a few here now in a row, but uh, with the guns coming out for Nexus, it's certainly going to be a different kind of beast to try and fight. The Orc for Zello, four M4s alongside it. Decent amount of utility. I mean, a few players missing a few pieces of utility. So... Hopefully that won't be too much of a hindering factor. Hopefully Nexus can still put up a fight in this round. There's a lot of aggression in towards the honor. Actually gonna work out for the Nexus side as the camera did not want to switch there. So all the kills that are not coming up on the screen, put the team scores in the chat if you want, because this is outrageous, but now plus <laughs> it's now just cypher one versus two to try and secure his team 
a little bit longer in this game, but it will not be go through in CX after some a little bit of bad camera work, I will say. So <laughs> Nexus will claim out the game at 16 to 9, I believe it was. 